โอเค for class activity number two and number three โอเค for class activity activity number two โอเค we have the equation like this 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 problem is same same as the example this is the heat balance problem okay we have the log of the length one meter okay we subdivide the length of one meter into small segment of h equal to 0 0.25 so what does it mean it means that we subdivide it into four parts right this is the first node this is p1 okay this is just p2 p3 p4 and p5 we subdivide into four segments <coughs> okay so from the equation from the equation finite different is the second the second derivative represented by f x i plus one right minus f x minus two f x i plus f x i minus one <coughs> okay divided by s squared okay so we have to formulate the sum the the equation first from this equation from this equation substitute this formula into this equation we obtain what is it T i plus one rate right? minus two T i plus T i minus one over S square. Okay, minus zero point one five T i equal to zero, right? We ran this equation. We ran this equation. <coughs> Okay, we use h is equal to 0 0.25. Sorry, h equal to 0 0.25. And then s squared is become 0 0.0625. Okay, so from this equation, from this equation, if we so for 0 0.15 s square is become 0 0.009375. So from this equation, we can rearrange this equation to be ti plus 1 minus 2 ti, right? Plus ti minus 1 minus 0 0.009375 ti equal to 0. <coughs> okay. Uh, according to this, we rewrite this question again by combine this term. By combine this term. After that, we get the equation to be minus t i minus one. Okay. Minus t i minus one plus two point zero zero nine three seven five t i. Okay. Minus T i plus one equal to zero. We can rearrange this equation to be here. <coughs> okay. After we have the equation, the finite different equation already, then we starting with node number two. For node number one, it's not necessary to consider because it's a boundary condition, right? So for node number two,
we starting with node number two, right? For node number two, T i minus one is become T one, right? Plus. Okay. But for the boundary condition, we know that at x equal to zero, t equal to 240, this is let's say t1, right? So this become t1, substitute t1 into here. This become minus 240. Okay. Plus. Okay. According to this, we ran this question again to uh, remove the constant on the left hand side to be the right hand side. You see, just re the equation. So we have the equation in form of is equation one. Then we do the same thing with node number three. With node number three, we obtain minus T2 plus two point This is the second equation, right? <clears throat> and then we solve for node number four. For node number four, it's become minus T3 plus but T5 it's become 150 because this is a boundary condition. After that, we obtain the final equation that is minus T3 plus This is a third equation, right? From these three equations, we can write it in the metric form like this. Actually, you actually you have three equations. You can solve three these three equations analytically. It's not necessary to write in a metric form. If you solve, uh, so just just solve this equation. Just solve this equation. You obtain the solution. But if you write it in the metric form, it's maybe better for using the calculator to solve, right? After that, and equal to Okay, after that, after we have this, solve the equation.
blockchain you may check the solution by yourself This is in degree Celsius. Okay, this is the solution. <coughs> okay, you have any question? Easy, right? Yeah. 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 